Well, here we are again to address another viewer comment question. Uh, so this, this person had sent me an item number uh, to a specific lot of coins on eBay, and he wanted me to personally assess it. Were you the one that bought it? <laughs> I'm just saying, he, he, he seemed like he, was, uh, he had a vested interest in, uh, in this collection. And uh, hey, all I got to say is, it's, it's really easy to get excited over a complete A to Z Morgan Dollar set. If it features a lot of the coins as advertised, if it features every single CC dollar known to man in the Morgan Dollar series, and there's some toughies in there, uh, those early 1890s uh, uh, S-Mint <laughs> coins, O-Mint coins, uh, there's a few uh, stoppers in there, 1893s, of course. If that, if that coin remotely exists in problem-free condition in this set, I would say we're well on our way to uh, to greatness here. Um, much kudos, by the way, to the person that did buy this <laughs> uh, viewer, um, because uh, it it, uh, it it certainly kind of falls off the radar of your prototypical fifteen thousand dollar coin collection. I, I I'm just saying, uh, and you're going to see here why uh, in a, in a moment. Uh, but it, you know, it, I mean, if you're going to go all out and, and get something that's, that's meaningful, that, that will have long-term, um, uh, equ equitable kind of potential. It, it's certainly this collection. Uh, and it, again, the, the silver market has run these things up to unimaginable kind of like price levels. Uh, we've seen probably a 10 to 20% uptick on a lot of the coins, it, you know, regardless or irrespective to the grade. And, uh, you know, th this might actually be a little bit of a steal, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it because that's what that one dude wants. So, uh, yeah, as you guys know, this uh, 1878 to 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar CC Complete Collection 96 Spell Whitman Wrong uh, album. VF to Unk PCGS, which means that there are a few graded coins in there, and I'm hoping, for the grace of God, that these coins are going to be our key dates. So, let's go ahead and see. There it is! Well, what do you know? So, in the most generic sense possible, this is what actually the... This isn't the main photo, but I figured we'd go ahead and lead with this one. Check that out. <laughs> like... I didn't know people use these albums, right? Because uh, when we get into uh, collecting some of these bigger silver coins that traditionally have a more considerable value, right? It's not like we're collecting a, um, a you know a set of Lincoln Memorial sets or Jefferson Nichols. No, folks, we're going all the way to the bonus round with uh, some super incredible numismatically collectible pieces. So uh, the fact that this is a collection that uh, kind of gave birth in a um, Whitman fold-out style album, uh, which, by the way, these things are like four bucks a piece. They're, they're the prototypical bottom-of-the-barrel, I, I guess, uh, collector, you know, thing that you would use to, to store these coins in. And some of the coins actually look right nice. I, I did take a quick sneak peek. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these keys in here. Uh, we have 1889 CC, very good to see. And albeit low ball, man, uh, AG3 through PCGS, that one's in there. Look at this one, 1885 CC, mid state 61. That's easy. That's an easy $500 bill right there. Um, 1892 CC, that one's a fine 12. Huh. Okay, so we're going for. Uh, for problem-free originality here, uh, 1903-0, all right, mid-state 63. That's damn near a $1,000 coin uh, as it sits. Uh, oh, there's our 1893S. Uh, all right, well, it's a good four. And uh, what's even more remarkable is that it's not like the coin underneath it, uh, which shows it properly cleaned, all right? It's not that. Uh, which, by the way, that's the 1894 right there, another another perennial key. 
within the series, that one does show good details and properly clean. Okay, so we're at $15,000, okay, and then plus shipping, and then depending on where the buyer resides, you know, it could include tax as well. You know, here in California, we have this ridiculous, like, seven and a three-quarter percent sales tax, so... If I bought this, um, oh boy, it would be a whole heck of a lot more than $15,000. Um, so that's kind of like our main photo there. Um, some of the coins are actually pretty decent, but, you know, uh, there are a few coins that I, I am a little bit disappointed that there are not in more better condition. You know, your uh, 1879s, you know what, why aren't a lot of these BU, you know, uh, with exception of the, the Carson Cities, of course. Uh, but you know some of the, some of the dates in there are exactly the way it should be for um, I'm gonna consider and I hate using this more of an entry level compilation of uh, of Morgans all right because you know if you're gonna I suppose if you were going to collect into something like this you know it, it's probably easier to start with lower condition coins again there's really no wrong way of collecting these I mean the I mean, thankfully, you know, we have a we have a collection here that even though a lot of the coins were either maybe cleaned or circulated, did sell for $15,000. I mean, there's a lot to be said for future wealth here with coins like this. Now, what I like about gaining a collection of this caliber is that it affords you the opportunity to do some uh, some upgrades, right? Maybe uh uh, there's a specific look you might be going for. You know, maybe we might be aiming at at all about uncirculated examples. You know, you'd probably buy them already graded, crack them out, and put them into an album. And they would look sexy. That would be one sexy presentation. And, you know, for a lot of some of these much tougher coins, like when we get into like these CCs right here, um, 1878 CC is a very tough date. Um, from a money perspective, it could scare some people. You know, it's like, I don't want to pay 800 bucks for an AU or for a Mint State 62, you know. Um, I want one that's serviceable, but at the same time, know and have the peace of mind that it hasn't been scrubbed to death. I mean, you know, when it comes to, uh, uh, to Carson City Morgans, you want to try and uh, kind of tempt, uh, you know, just really try hard to not purchase just any coin because if you come across one of these key date examples of Morgan's pro, um, uh, raw, okay, oftentimes they're going to be cleaned or there's going to be something wrong with that. Like on the 1879 CC, I could tell right there on the bottom left, right around where K7 to K8 is on, you know, like looking at a clock, um, you know, position wise, that one has quite a substantial rim hit. All right. So it's not a cut. That that edge of the coin took a hit in, in some way or some fashion. Um, but, you know, like you could go through here, you know, be a little selective. Uh, you know, consider things like the 1881 Morgan here. That That is a common enough date that you should get a Men's State example. However, you also have to keep in mind that uh, coins that even in a common date uh, kind of a generic year date um, in mid-state condition, like a mid-state 63 or 64, are currently selling for 60 to 75, maybe even like up upwards of 90 to $100, you know, and uh, I appeal is everything. So, you know, if that coin has a little bit of toning, gang way, guys, that's going to uh, change the game a little bit. But a lot of these, you know, kind of like BU, the 80, ADS here is a very common date. A lot of these were saved in mint state, 810, 81S, a little bit of a uh, kind of like a crescent rim toning right there. Believe it or not, those mint state coins have a market of about $60 to $100 raw. And people have been paying and charging, you know, $80 to $100 in a graded holder. So, you know, I, I mean, if you were to kind of like to match up some of the uh, 1880 is a common date that you can find in mid state for that 60 to $100 level, um, the Carson Cities, you're going to have to, you know, maybe you might decide to go all about and circulate it on those coins in this particular case. Um, so we've come across to the first like major key date in here, this 1885 CC. 
Actually, there was a few. Uh, the, the, 80, uh, the 78 and the 79 CC. Uh, there was a 1878 seven tail feather. 1878S is a, another semi-tough tough date in higher grades. Uh, you're going to end up paying a boatload of money for those. Uh, yeah, the uh, good old 1885 CC is in phenomenal shape at Mint State 61. Again, that's like a five to $600 bill. Uh, we also have the 84 Carson City, which looks to be a GSA crackout because it's very nice and minty. Let's see the 83. Is the 83 in there? Huh. There's 1880 CC. There's 81 CC, a very not another tough, very, very tough date. Can't even talk, you know. I've been talking about coins for for many years, and uh, I, I think my uh, my my speech has given up on me over here. Uh, here's 1886. All right, and this is tough, guys. I, I mean, for a this isn't exactly what you call a sight unseen collection, but for the love of Mike, man, uh, for 15 grand, I'd want to see the reverses of all these coins. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I know it's tough. It can be tough uh, from a seller standpoint. Like presentation-wise, you know, it's like let's keep them in the uh, the folder and then show them off that way. But at the same time, you don't get you don't get an accurate depiction of the reverse. What if there's a big gouge or maybe there's some hidden toning that's on the back of the coin? I think a buyer would want to know about that, you know. Uh, but what you don't want to do. Is ultimately buy something like this it turns out that half the coins aren't as described because you didn't see the reverse of them uh, so I, I hope I'm wrong I hope there's some reverse photos in here some of these 1889 CC man e, EG3 problem free I'm happy to say uh, even at you know at that grade I hope it's problem free um, was that like a seven eight hundred dollar coin um, so the the values racking up here fellas and ladies uh, here's a 1898, 980 S. Uh, that one looks clean. 1899 which is a common date, but check out that kind of like dark toning, which is all natural. It's just, it's a terminal progression of toning that I'm not per personally a fan of. Some people like it. Uh, others don't. Uh, 98 S, 1899, which is a really tough date. Uh, only 330,000 of that one were produced. And finding one in mid state condition will set you back thousands of dollars. Um, 1900s, we got that 1903 0 in here somewhere. Let's see here. Yeah, it's, it's going to be on the subsequent uh, photo, I would say. Yeah, there's your 1893 CC that's actually in the album. That's a tough one. So just to kind of clarify, your more common CCs, I, I'm not going to say common, but the ones that are widely available at the lowest price level are your 82, 83s, and 84s. In certain occasions, you could probably find um, maybe an 1880 or an 81 that's in relatively nice shape, you know, for 500 bucks or so. Um, so that's kind of like your next next go around uh, as far as uh, rarity is concerned and, uh, and price. So the 1893, I mean, it's okay. It's a good four, uh, 1892 CC. So while we're here, let's go into PCGS price guide and take a look at some of these coins. Um, 1879 CC. So at the lowest level, at good four, it's 250. At fine 12, you're at 450. Uh, or some sort of weird variety, cap die. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about that. 1878 CC. So in lower grades, you're probably looking at like a $200 coin. Um, and at the end of it, I'll, I'll give my ultimate assessment of what I think about this uh, this, this set. Uh, 1880 CC, uh, which is, it looks to be right around this like good to fine region. So we'll just, we'll just put 250 on there. Um, Carson Cities haven't been like overwhelming at this point. I'm afraid, um, so we're gonna have to do a little bit better than that. Uh, 1881 CC. I remember being somewhere in like this fine kind of condition. So let's let's give him the benefit of the doubt and do 400 on that one. Uh, 82 CC. The more common, uh, the one that was in the album was actually Mid State. 
So I would say probably a good maybe like three and a quarter to three fifty. And that's generally going with like mid state sixty three value on that one. All right, we have a few pages here, guys. Uh, so let's see here, uh, eighty three. I would probably put that one in the same price range as well from the eighty two. Um, at that uh, kind of like uh, three three and a quarter three fifty. Uh, what's our tough date here at Estimate? That's the, it's the 83, right? So once you get into mid-state, 83S's. The 83S that's in the album was not, not killer looking at all. It was a, it was a very well circulated, if not clean example. Uh, but you can see that in mid-state, this coin is bonkers. So if you come across an 83S and, and like junk silver, and you're like, wow, this is a key date because Blue Ridge said so. Okay, is it mid-state and problem-free? <laughs> because that's going to change the game a little bit. Uh, 1884 CC, again, another one of, uh, you know, uh, common dates. We're looking at like three and a quarter or 350. Um, 85 CC, as you can tell, is a good one. Uh, the, the seller had a mid-state 61, right, NGC. So we're, we'll figure like 850 for that one. So that's that's a big value coin right there. Uh, let's see, 1885S, semi-tough. Uh, I don't think the one that was in the uh, listing was anything, was a screamer. Uh, let's see, 1888 no, not quite. 89, there's your 89CC, that's the big one. Uh, so where are we at on the 89CC here? There's the 92CC. Uh, that that's the 85. 19030. That that's a eight eight nine hundred dollar coin. I own a few of those. That's eighteen eighteen ninety four. So that's a good detail. So that's gonna be like an AG net. Eighteen eighty five. Bing bong. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. AG three. Oof. Okay, AG3, so we're going to be looking somewhere around like 600 for that one. This is a good four. It's for 725. So uh, drop it down about 10%. You, that's where you're at. So you're looking at like six, six and a quarter for the 89cc. And by the way, all these prices are more on a retail level. Uh, it'll be different if you're going to sell these to a coin shop. Uh, 1891cc is a coin that's been gaining a little bit more recognition in the market uh, for whatever reason. It's a semi kind of like common CC date, but um, like higher grade examples have been hitting a thousand bucks where they didn't used to five years ago. So that's kind of like a sleeper coin right there. But uh, yeah, 91cc, not too bad. There's the 92cc. So there's your that one there. So it's that one there, right? Yep. Find twelve. So what are we looking at? Find twelve. Uh, three and a quarter. I thought it'd be even more amazing than that. Uh, eighteen ninety two S. That thing really drops off the uh, drops off the edge and grades under fine, unfortunately. Uh, eighteen ninety three. Let's see, 1893. Do we have a problem free coin here or no? Say that's this coin right here. It's rough looking. Uh, so what are we looking at? Like good or fine or uh, BG? Uh, so 1893P, yeah, you probably look at 200 bucks for that one. Uh, Might have been cleaned. It's all splotchy. 1893CC. Uh, pretty decent coin. I put the one that they have in there about five, six hundred. Uh, eighteen ninety three O. Uh, these other coins are obscuring it, so I can't really see. That stinks. Um. Uh, yep. Still covering. Still cover the coins, people. Let's see all of them. You should do a completely different photo with all the slabs instead of putting it on top of all the coins. Yeah, there's some uh, pretty decent toned mint states in there. So I'll probably give those uh, coins maybe an extra 10% bump in value. It, it, it's, not, it's not a ton. 
but it helps. Uh, that's a nice 93.0. That's a lot tougher than it looks. It's a GSA coin. So a lot of them were wearing GSA uh, bags. Hmm. Yeah, this is a, they still got the same stupid photo with it. You know, there, there's uh, two coins that's covered. Uh, and one of them is the 93.0, which has a, a decent amount of value. So I don't know. There's their 93S. Um, AG3 was great on that one, if I'm not mistaken. So you're looking at around three grand for that. Although lower grade specimens are going up uh, problem free because uh, people need the coin and they don't want to spend half a million dollars, you know, for, for an example. So they just need it for a typeset. So they'll, they'll look at things like this. If it were up to me, I'd get an XF. That's like kind of like the best compromise. Uh, 1894, so that's a, a, a good details or AG details. Uh, we're probably looking at like a $400 bill for that coin. It's, it's pretty rough. So 400 bucks for that. Yeah, um, a good deal of value. I would say one fifth of the value of the $15,000 is all socked up in this 1893S. Um, 1895 oh, it's pretty decent, low grades. We're looking like at like, what, 300 bucks. Uh, 95 oh, 95S, let's see what those look like. Ninety-five O, right here, rim bumps on there. We got some rim bumps. The ninety-five S is a uh, it's a fair to AG coin. It, I mean, it has rims still, so it's not completely worn down to. I it's I don't think it's fair. I think it's more like an AG three for that one. The ninety-five O has problems. It's got some rim hits. Um, so ninety-five O. We're looking at probably, if I had to guess, like 300. All right. It would be a little bit higher than that if it didn't have the rim bumps because it's like a technical fine, you know, but you have to net grade it. 95S, that, that, that coin's low ball, so we're probably looking at like 250 for that one. Uh, let's see, any, any other uh, headliners here? It doesn't look like it. 1899, that's a tough date. Although the coin that's uh, that's in the thing, that's probably maybe like one and a quarter. Yeah, it's, it's like in that VG fine arena. Uh, let's see, where's our 1903? Oh, there's the, oh, it's an O over CC. Yeah, there's no varieties in this set from what I could see. There's the, uh, what, the Seven Tail Feathers 1878 was the only other one worth mentioning from an earlier date perspective. So, uh, yeah, this one here, the 1903-0, Mid-State 63. It's a $800 bill for that one. So that's another good value value piece. 1903-S, uh, yeah, another toughie. Uh, but so I, I don't see right there. It's dark. That might be corroded, possibly. Like the 1900s that you see on the leading edge of the photo is cleaned. That, that thing's cleaned. The 1903 is cleaned. There's the 930 right there. Ninety-three S, eighteen ninety-four. So this coin right here must be the eighteen ninety-three L. All right, which is not that great looking. It looks VG. It's a very mid type coin. A lot of these coins are mid. All right, so yeah, that kind of rounds things out. I, I would venture to guess that the 1921s are in decent shape, uh, and they are. Um, none of them are mid state, but you'd be hard pressed to you know find another one in the marketplace that's mid state and spend around 50, 60 bucks for them. 1904 looks nice. But, yeah, there's a lot of upgrading possibilities. Now, let's talk a little bit about this price tag of $15,000 because that's, that's certainly going to shake people's boots up a little bit here. Uh, $15,000, uh, you have $3,000 in the 1893S. 
you have about another three grand in CC dollar coins, probably 3,500 for those. Um, shoot, that's 6,500. Let me do a little bit of math here. Because it's 96 coins. If we eliminated 10 of the top coins that encompass about six grand worth of value, that would leave mid state coins uh, make up roughly about 20% of the total. So let's, let's say 20 coins, 20 times 80, $80 a piece. That's 1600. Uh, plus seven thousand dollars. It's just an estimate too. It, it's not. It's not right on. Uh, there are you know there plus plus or minus a thousand bucks. I would say. Um. So we took the other sixty coins, times. So here here's what you have to consider from a retail level because I. I the two sides of my brain is like, okay, on this side right here, let's go ahead and talk about gray sheet bid. On this side over here, let's talk about retail. Like if you're going to go out and sell these on your own, you'd be more likely to get around 35 to $40 for each one of the generic, basic, common date, very mid pieces. Uh, coins that have circulation, maybe they're a little bit clean, what have you. It's kind of like the going average. So uh, we have 60 coins, and I'm going to use, let's see, $35 a piece is $2,100. If we went $40, it doesn't change it a whole lot. That's $2,400. So we have $7,000 plus um, $2,400 plus... Let's see, we have the other $20. 20 coins that are approximately mid state 63, 64. Those are about 80 bucks a piece. Um, 20 times 80, $1,600 plus 9,400. All right. Well, not the best. Not the best. Well, considering my numbers, that's where we're at right there $11,000. For the value of the coins, I would say that's probably in between bid and ask. Um, conservatively, um, again, there's probably a little bit of a price differentiator in there. There's probably a few coins that I personally missed. Uh, I'm just kind of like shooting from the hip on this one. But we are, we are going to be easily a few thousand dollars away. Um, so, you know, if you're going to buy this, obviously you're not going to flip these coins, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a great investor piece, um, in the long run. And, uh, if you're going to convert these into a completely different album that I think is more suitable for presentation, and then along the way you do, uh, you do upgrades to problem-free examples then you're going to be on the right track on this. And then this is going to be a collection that will easily surpass 15 and get head up to like $20,000 level. When you get to coins that, that have like technical, technical, um, problem free grades of an average XF. All right. And that's even if you don't do anything with the 1893 S the 1894, I would certainly upgrade. If you could find a fine 12 to possibly a VF 20, that's going to be better for the uh, the long-term potential of a collection if you were going to resell it. Because this is something, guys, when you look at this, you're like, oh, well, it sounds like he didn't do very well. Now, did he get absolutely railed? A, a little bit, you know, but is it the end of the world? No. Uh, I think, again, with something like this, the big X factor is we don't have images on any of the reverses of the coins from what I could see. There, there's no reverse images. And that's kind of concerning. I think based off of that, I, I diminished the value of the collection because we have no reverse images. Um, because you always have to uh, expect the worst when it comes to stuff like this. You know, it, it's a hard one. And, and yeah, you, you know, this, this is a great topic to uh, discuss because there's a, there's a lot to unwrap here. Um, you know... 
it's a little bit of an overpay, but I, I think, and the seller doesn't accept returns. Now, if that were a real thing, then I would be even more concerned. But, you know, any any buyer has a right to return this collection if it, did, if it you know, if it didn't meet the requirements of the description. And I think that is a loophole that, that anyone that buys this can possibly use to their advantage. Or if this is like, if this is a, 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 a collection that is tolerable, even if you, on the high end, you know, you spent 15 grand, but maybe it's a collection that's worth, worth twelve five to $13,000 retail, um, then, or market, you know, however you want to spin that. Uh, I think you'll be okay, but do some, do some upgrades and, and move some of the, uh, the problem coins while you can, while the market's hot. And a lot of that is leveraged around, uh, the current silver investment world that we're living in right now with the, uh, you know, the banking failure. And I, I don't know how many times I have to repeat that, but, um, Strike while the iron's hot, and then you're going to maximize the uh, potential on a lot of these coins, especially the 1890s branch mint coins that are that have issues. Um, get rid of those while you can right now, and then um, uh, turn that around and, and, and buy a problem-free example. I would say go for a graded piece of that same date. Do a, do a little uh, grade boost on it. So if the coin that you're replacing is a technical, you know, net graded, maybe VG, go for a fine. A fine 12 or fine 15 graded specimen that's problem free. Keep it in the holder and then build up the collection, you know. And if you're going to do this, invest in a high quality, um, kind of like lighthouse album. For, for Morgan dollars, and they do exist. They, they have a really pretty, you're gonna end up spending like maybe a hundred bucks on a high class album. But again, presentation is key here. It, it what gives and provides a lot more value to a collection that probably is undeserving of an extra one to $2,000 bump. So that's where I wanted to talk about. Uh, I mean, it's an interesting set. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's a total dumpster fire to be sure. Uh, sure, you know, I probably would have uh, liked to pay a few extra thousand, a few thousand dollars less uh, for it. And, uh, you know, if all possible, say, hey, where are those reverse images? Okay. And, uh, you know, when you consider invest, it's an investment at this price level. I want you guys to realize that. Um, take a look at everything. And if you're, if you're local or close by to where this gentleman is in Texas, I would make the drive. I would do it. Um, and then try and do that kind of tran transaction where you could, you know, um, change the money like, like that, you know, face to face. Well, well, pretty neat. I love doing these. I don't do them enough. I, I don't think, but you know, when big collections like this come up in the marketplace and they, they have a pretty, pretty nice stiff price tag attached to them, I love to kind of dissect it a little bit, but hopefully you guys got a little bit of a takeaway on this video. I appreciate you guys. Keep on hunting and collecting, and thank you for all of your views and support. This is a lot of fun to talk about. So that's it. You guys take care. Happy hunting, and I'll see you on the next coinage video. So long.